Good morning. Indoor vertical farming has been an expensive failure in the United States and elsewhere. The concept is that food would be grown indoors vertically. Venture capital firms raised billions of dollars and almost all of them have closed because of the high costs that are involved. And the biggest challenge is technological and it involves sunlight. Sunlight is free, uh, but to reproduce sunlight indoors requires large amounts of energy and energy is expensive. But a group of researchers in China claim to have solved this problem. They built a very large facility, 20 stories tall, and they called it a PFAO, plant factory with artificial light. Most indoor farms in the United States are only three to five stories tall in comparison. And the facility in Chengdu in Sichuan province works with a far higher degree of AI than comparable systems anywhere else. The artificial intelligence aspect to this is very important because it allows for constant feedback and faster trial and error looping for experimenting with light. They need to find optimum frequencies and wavelengths of light to deliver to the plants. The researchers there have learned that it's variable amounts of red, blue, yellow, near UV and near IF light. And further, that these variables change at different stages of the plant's life cycle. Unlocking these combinations of light, given the age of the plant, this allows for plants to be grown there much more efficiently and much faster than on a traditional farm. A crop of lettuce in Sichuan's peafowl can be harvested in 35 days with 10 crop rotations per year. They have also reduced the breed cycle times for wheat, cotton, soybeans by more than half. And they've developed a database for 72 crops and different light and plant life cycle combinations. The commercial appeal of indoor vertical farming is not what it once was because of huge improvements in agricultural output and productivity in the developing world. So it's possible that even this research here might not yield a lot of economic value. But there is another reason that this research is so valuable. And in order for extended space travel to be possible, and especially colonization, we will need to develop technologies that can produce crops without high intensity sunlight on thousands of acres of land. If we are going to be sending people out on spaceships one way, this is one of the problems we need to solve first. So maybe we're on our way. Uh, three reports here. Two of them are academic papers that we're leaking to in the description below. Interesting stuff. Be good. Thank you.